there is a panic that gets created in the market because of this panic many people get into the Hello and Namaste Paycheck Pros. I'm Manish Aujan and this is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. On this channel I create new videos on 4th, 14th and 24th of every month in both in Hindi and English and I try to make these videos connected to the topics of personal finance, investments, budgeting, how to invest in equities, mutual funds, insurance etc. Basically anything and everything to do with how to manage your money or everything that your school and university should have taught you about money but they didn't. But that's not a problem. Just because we did not learn how to manage our money in college does not mean that we can't get into financial literacy today. For that matter of fact, if you're taking the time out today to watch this video, you are doing fabulous for yourself because you are taking the extra effort to learn how to manage your money better. I'm very happy for you and I wish you a very successful part to your financial freedom soon. With videos like these and with you taking the effort, I'm sure you'll find it sooner than later. So I've been making videos since February 2019 and I have been requesting all the viewers to you know comment and ask me questions there have been a few questions which have been asked to me in the earlier videos but recently one of the viewers like you has asked me a question on one of my earlier videos which made me realize that i should make a video on this topic because it will benefit each and every one of us so here it is the question is asked by niranjan his question is let me read it out for you which you can also see on the screen right now so how does the share price increase over time if it is related to a company's profit then why does a share price fall immediately after the company gets defamed I'm assuming Niranjan is talking about the recent Infosys case. Infosys is India's one of the most prestigious and one of the most well-known IT companies. The share price of a company is a direct result of demand and supply of the number of shares of the company. So what necessarily happens Niranjan is the share price of the company keeps growing up because the number of shares available in the market are limited and the demand of it keeps increasing. In the case of Infosys, because it is one of the prestigious IT companies, the supply of the shares is limited and more and more people keep buying these shares which drives the price of the share going up. While the price of the share is going up, many a times the share price of a particular script goes over and above the balance sheet value of the share. Which means, in the balance sheet, if you actually check the original price per share, let's say it is 100, because the demand of the share price is much higher, people are ready to buy that share at 105, 110 or whatever amount. So let's say today price of Infosys is at 120. But the balance sheet price of the share should be about 100 or 110. So that gap is actually created by the demand and supply of the share. So when the company gets defamed for whatever reason, let's say there is some problem with the promoter's way of managing the business or let's say promoters end up pledging too many shares in the market or there's some sort of a complaint with regards to the accounting of the company or the company ends up taking too many debts or there could be multiple factors. What happens is the entire equity market is very volatile. So if any factor affects the share directly or indirectly, there is a panic that gets created in the market. Because of this panic, many people get into the selling mode. So what happens is supply of those shares which was very limited just a few weeks or few days back immediately goes on a reverse position where there is a lot of supply of shares and the number of people wanting to buy those shares is relatively low. So people start selling those shares at a much lower price. So basically this is a simple story of how does the price of a share actually get determined. It's a mix of the actual value of the share as per the balance sheet or the fundamental analysis, the technical analysis which show that probably the price of the share will increase much further. If you don't know what are fundamental or technical analysis, please check the earlier videos of this channel. I have made videos on both of these topics. And then there are the market conditions. Then there are times when a company declares good numbers or good quarterly results, which generates more demand for that particular share of the company, so on and so forth. So the share price, which is reflected on the ticker in the business news channels or on the bourses, which is the share markets, is not necessarily the fair price, but the price which the shareholders or the share traders are ready to pay for that company on that particular moment. So that's the simple reason of how exactly is the share price determined and why exactly does the share price drop when the company gets defamed. A reverse of this is you will see a major shoot in the price of the share once the company declares a bonus or when there's a news of company declaring some sort of a huge dividend in the next quarter or if they come up with really good numbers or if there's some policy of the government which is declared which would help a particular industry 
all of these things put together are called market conditions and these have a very strong influencing factor on the price of the share. So I hope you've now understood why exactly does the price of a share drop when the company is defamed temporarily. And for the rest of the viewers, if you have any questions like these, please just go ahead and post a comment below like Niranjan did and I'll do my best to answer the question for you as soon as possible. If the answer is really simple and I can just reply it in a comment, I'll do that immediately. And if the question is really detailed, I will make a video like this. I hope you've got to learn something from this video. If you like this video, please do not forget to like and share it on all the social media channels. I'll now see you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling. Please take care of your loved ones and stay happy. Kaching!